What's up, everybody? It's Jeffrey Lyles welcoming you to another edition of Lyles Figure Files. All the smoke, the dust is settled. San Diego Comic Con is in the books. I'm going to be back later on soon, maybe in the next few hours or so, to break down my MVPs, the things that I took away that were my most surprising, exciting reveals from this amazing weekend of Comic Con. But there is something that sent the collecting community all the flurry wrapped up in a tizzy, really upset because Daniel, the man himself, on Twitter, I'm sorry, on X, ugh, tweeted this big bombshell. One thing I forgot to mention is Target and Walmart are not going to be getting the Marvel Knights Build-A-Figure Wave, so fan channel, Amazon, and Hasbro Pulse are your best bets. I wouldn't wait for store clearance. Now, of course, that sent a bunch of people like, oh, no, it's the end of the line. Oh, no. See, we told you all we're waiting on clearance. This is what was going to happen. Target, Walmart, et cetera, weren't going to carry it in stores anymore. We're going to have to rely on online retailers, and this is going to be the end of everything. Ah! But in actuality, it's just that Hasbro is flooding the market with so much Marvel Legends product that something had to get skipped. And in this case, it was just one way because there's still so much product still. But even for everybody who was worried and concerned, like, oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get these figures. And this got stoked even further because right away, you know, the whole wave isn't really on Amazon right now. But you see the Fist Ninja, Lady Bullseye, Luke Cage Power Man's here, and Clea are all there but Blade sold out, which meant everybody got even more worked up. Oh, no, they're going to be faster sellouts online, all these different retailers. But again, not really a problem, not an issue to be too concerned about because you swap right over here. You go to Entertainment Earth. They've still got Blade, no problem. He's there along with that Sentinel from the X-Men 97 way that's going to be all the rage because it's such a really great figure and it fits in just fine with your regular six-inch scale Marvel Legend figures. And on Hasbro Pulse, Blade is also available in addition to all the rest of that wave. So that means Clea, needless variant of Iron Man, Fist Ninja, Power Man, Luke Cage is still here. The Daredevil with the beard and Lady Bullseye are here, as well as the Fire Team from the Jaggio Classified series. But just as a reminder of why you don't need to panic whatsoever, Jason's Miscellanea tweeted on X this shot from his local Target, which shows exactly what I was saying, the issue is there's so much product coming from Hasbro's Marvel Legends brand, they can't fit another line in there with the limited Marvel Legends shelf space they've had as of late. So as you can see here, the Marvel Legends, Captain Marvel slash the Marvel's wave is, on, is in stock here. The Spider-Man retro vintage wave with Lady Daredevil, the Rose, this, this different version of Ben Riley Spider-Man in stock. That's a whole new wave. Then Captain Marvel and Doctor Doom from Secret Wars, the Skrull 2-pack, Hawkeye with his Sky Cycle, Banner and the Hulk, the single edition Amazing Black Widow figure, all in stock. So that is a ton of figures hitting target right now. And if you figure the follow the pattern. It's been like they're on stock for about two months. And that means, okay, what's coming up next? Technically, you think that this wave with the Marvel Knights would be coming, but because they've done so much stuff, so many clearances, I bet they're willing to let an Avengers-focused wave with heavy hitters like Thor, Hulk, Hawkeye to sit on the pegs a little bit longer than their normal two-month let's send them off to clearance. Because then if you follow that logic even further, that means they're going to start getting ready for the big holiday push. They don't need to put in a new wave around September, October, then knowing they're going to start moving new stuff in for November, December, and of course that big Christmas and every other holiday run. So it kind of makes sense to skip this wave and then move on to the next one. And I assume that means we're going to see Power Princess, some of those other characters. I figure Vision is a character that we'll see on shelves before November, December. We'll see him around that time period because he's another name brand Avenger. So he makes sense to arrive in theaters, theaters, going to store pegs at that point. So I think that's what we'll end up seeing. And then this doesn't even include this crazy display. Doesn't even feature the Thor and Destroyer set. So there's so many more figures. You see here, Jay Miscellany, Jay's, Jason's Miscellany had that Heroes Return, Iron Man, Karnak in hand, and then Marvel Boy. And this doesn't include the other three 
Captain Marvel characters. So Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel slash Photon, and then Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel. Lots of figures here. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five box sets. This is including the Thor Destroyer, not including the Black Knight and Cersei. So that's a lot of stuff so to come on pegs. So when you just take a look at it, that is a ton of Marvel Legends product even though we're going to miss a whole wave of figures. And just in case you're worried, Dan wanted to make sure, hey, hey guys, don't panic. I know you guys on the internet are very well rational, logical thinking people, so don't worry. He tweets out, this is specifically for the U.S., so everyone else, your targets, your Walmarts, you will still be able to get them. And just to clarify, Marvel Legends wave will still be in Target and Walmart, but that wave was sort of a late fall wave. Other waves will be available to Target targeting Walmart, so Hakuna Matana, no problems, no issues. They're not canceling the line. Target's not going anywhere. Walmart's no, not going anywhere with their coverage of this brand. And just in case you just so happen to be lucky and find this, these figures in your stores right now, you can take advantage of one of these things that I always say to wait on for figures is this Target Circle offer where you can get $10 off an in-store online purchase of $60 or more. It's already unavailable for me because I've used it and already cashed out, got some figures. I was really excited because I finally got some more G.I. Joe classified series figures that I was asking you all for help on. So throughout the day yesterday, they were in stock, out of stock. At any one point in time, Copperhead, Scrap Iron, Shipwreck, Rock and Roll, Torpedo were in stock. And I was like, all right, which ones I want to get into my cart and complete the checkout process before they sell out. And one of those sets that I, one of those other figures that I got that was never in any targets in my area was the Marvel Legends Avalanche from that X-Men Retro Wave. So this is just another indication of there's still ways to get figures and on sale. So I wasn't really worried about it, but I was able to get Bazooka and Torpedo for cheaper than normal price. And, and all you have to do is just be patient because whether it's a clearance price, a big coupon sale, or a big pulse blowout sale, you're not going to have to pay $25 for these figures. You're not going to kill a line just because you're waiting for a sale. For those of you who can buy them right now, $25, more power to you. But for everybody who has to be a little bit more price conscious of things, there's an avenue, an option for you so you don't have to worry about, oh man, are my actions killing off this line, this, this series that I love so, so much. Speaking of killing off a line, the price for Power Channel wrestling figures has gone astronomical. You look online trying to get these figures that had a long pre-order window, but now that people have them in hand, people want them. And so you can go and find these figures over at the wrestlingcollection.com for the low, low price of $100 for each figure. That's crazy and wild to me because you could have gotten these figures for about $45 earlier. So now you can pay for Magnum CA $99, a Carry Von Air for $99. That's crazy. So if you want more figures, I think you can wait out because originally when I spoke to Steve over at Power Town, he said, we're going to do some more figures, different color schemes of characters. So if you missed out on this Magnum CA and the Red Tights, hold off. They're going to do a black one. You don't need to pay $100 just for one figure. And then finally, before I close out on this one, for everybody curious on the progress of this mammoth, massive HasLab, the Star Wars Vintage Collection, the Ghost is almost at its full fun. Get the campaign back to 8,000 backers needed. Right now it's at 7,495. That's a crazy amount of time considering they still have 44 days, nine hours and 42 minutes left. But of course, this project is not just about getting it funded. It's all about those tears, baby. So, you know, we get Hera straight up right away. We get the Phantom 2 included with this, but it's all about getting the rest of the Rebel squad, getting that whole crew in figure form. And this means to get 11,000 backers, we get Ezra Bridger. Looks really cool. Then at 14,000, we get Cannon, Kanan. And then at 17,000 backers, we get Zeb. So, of course, we want all these guys from this set. So it's not just about, hey, congratulations, we've got it funded through 8,000. It's going to go through. It's all about getting to 17,000 backers, which I do not think is going to be a problem because everyone who backed the ghost wants this thing to get fully funded with all the tears knocked out so you can get Kanan, 
Ezra and Zeb, and then eventually get Sabine, Chopper, and single carded to go along with Hera. So still don't quite understand why they went that route with this instead of pairing up, making one tier like two figures instead of just one, but whatever. This is a pretty cool, impressive looking HasLab, so more power to them. But so in closing, don't worry, don't panic. Just because one wave of Marvel Legends is not coming to stores, you can still pre-order them at Amazon, Entertainment Earth, Hasbro Pulse. No worries, no problems. And if you want to wait on the sale, you still can. It's very possible Target's going to have one, or not Target in this case, but Entertainment Earth, Amazon, and they'll do some price matching with other retailers. And of course, Hasbro Pulse, whenever they get around to it, I figure with this late fall wave, we won't see them on sale till maybe maybe around April next year. I mean, if you don't have to rush to get these figures, just be like, first, you can still wait and get most of these with zero problem to a price. It's more of your liking. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this episode. I'll be back to break down my favorites of San Diego Comic-Con real soon. So for now, this episode allows figure files has been filed.